What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall and weekly Crucible rewards for this week on all three of my characters. This week's Nightfall was the Dust Palace Strike with the Scion Flares. Pretty easy strike overall just because the Void Burn modifier was on and also the Specialist modifier was on as well. So uh, Telesto was a pretty good choice and of course you can always take out the Scion Flares pretty easily with swords at the end as well. So pretty fun stuff and we also got some decent rewards as well so let's get straight into it. Starting off with my Nightfall rewards for my first character on my Warlock. We ended up getting an exotic right off the bat and we got a last word exotic hand cannon and my teammate also got an exotic as well a Telesto and the last one was a Ghost Shell so at least two of us got some exotics off of that first one. And then moving on to my next character on my Titan we ended up getting ourselves just 11 three of coins on that one and my teammates got a class item and a sparrow toolkit so that was pretty cool i'm seeing a lot more eververse items dropping in nightfalls so i can't wait to get one myself and then finally for my last nightfall reward of the week on my hunter we ended up getting ourselves just a legendary auto rifle the deal breaker and my two teammates got 20 strange coins and a fall 2015 emote mystery bag so that was pretty cool another eververse item that dropped as a nightfall reward i can't wait to get one for myself as well and then moving into my weekly crucible reward starting off on my first character we ended up getting an ash factory legendary rocket launcher and it came in at 306 attack the perks were battle runner and tracking on it not the greatest perks for crucible i'd say the best role would probably be Grenade Horseshoes and a Tripod on it, that would probably be the best roll to get for Crucible, but um, it's still pretty good, better than getting Ghost Shells as my rewards for the Bounty. And then going into my next weekly Crucible reward, we ended up getting ourselves a Spare Change Legendary Pulse Rifle at 294 attack, and the perks on it were Danger Close and a Glass Half Full it did have a stability perk down the middle, it had hand laid stock as well, but I'd say that maybe perfect balance or counterbalance would be more helpful, or maybe range finder to boost the range a little bit more. It does have very high range already though, but I prefer the higher rate of fire pulse rifles like Hawksaw over this one. This one's more of a higher impact, slower rate of fire pulse rifle. And then finally, for my last Crucible reward of the week, we ended up getting a ship and a Party Crasher plus one shotgun. So we ended up getting a ship. I didn't even know you could get ships out of the bounties, but we ended up getting one here called High and Flighty. And it came in at green and blue, so I believe those are the Crucible ship colors. But it does look very similar to the House of Wolves ships, the shape of it. But still pretty cool, I can rock a new ship off of that reward. And then of course we got the Party Crasher Shotgun. The perks on it weren't the greatest. It had a Battle Runner and Exhumed. Uh, so no Range Finder and no Rifled Barrel down the middle to improve the range on it. And it also was 291. So probably going to dismantle that one. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.